All right, lab number five. I'm on a roll today. Five videos today. We are going to talk about the uh, pet clinic application that I had to do for C Sharp. So I'm going to show you guys. This is what the app looks like. Uh, where's my properties on this? Okay, so this is the form, another w Windows form app here. And uh, what we got new here is this is a group box. And then I have a slider in here. And so uh, this is the, I think it was a tab control. Nope. Oh boy. Definitely not tab control. Group box. I'm trying to remember what this is. I know all these are check boxes here that are in another group box. So these are all check boxes. Office call, vaccination call, the grooming call, the visit call, surgery call, emergency call, feeding call, and microchipping call. This is also a label, and all these are labels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine labels, including this one, and then the clear and the exit button. So, try to remember what this is. Okay, TBR. Remember, oh man, there's so much to look at. Uh, I will come back to it. And the lines and the bears and the tigers are all labels. It's like a slider choosing um, what the animals are. And then, like I said, this is a group box. This is another group box. And then nine labels and then two buttons. So for the coding, the coding is actually in every single checkbox. So let's click on Office Call. So we have two strings here. STR animal string dot empty and then string str pet services you go string dot empty and I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna go through here pretty fast um, you can like I said if you're stuck on this application you can go ahead and, and just take and copy all these codes here that I'm doing here and so uh, what I had is comments to deal with the animals and this is on the office call. Okay, so this is on the office call. Notice that notice that it goes for every single one, okay? So then what I had was that this is all if and else statements. So if you don't know what if and else statements, basically is if lions um, or if the bear, if bears or if tigers, because there's three, there's three, uh, <clears throat> there's three, there's three set of values, right, off the animals that we're choosing. So if we choose a, the lions, then we got, then we're going to pick out which services the lions are actually, you know, uh, going in for their services. Same thing for the bears and tigers. So this is just a, another simple application that we had to do for C sharp for uh, for the class, and then. Uh, the else if is if it's a bear, if you choose bears, and then another else if tigers. And then you come down here, deal with services, if office, if check office call dot, dot check. Okay. So the acronym for my check boxes is CHK. And then DBL total double equals DBL total plus office call and then the LBL office text equals office call dot t string C. So the C is you're having numeric value on and currency. And this goes this is all typed in for every single checkbox. 
So once you get it all written down, I know I'm scrolling through, I'm scrolling through uh, the office, but what you do is once you get all the coding down, take all of this, oh, not the string, Wait, hold on, let me guys see if we do the string here for the next one. Yeah, we do the string too. So take all of this, instead of retyping everything, take all of it, highlight all of it, and and copy it and then once you copy it and then you can go to the next function which is your vaccination call so you click on vaccination call i have i have completely everything i copy and pasted the same setup and then you can see you can see office call vaccination grooming visit surgery emergency feeding microchipping and then guess what i did exactly the same thing office call vaccination grooming visit surgery emergency feeding microchipping reason being is because you you're you want to do this for every single checkbox because if you don't if you don't do it you can have more than one pet services that's that's the bottom line like you can if you don't, if you just do it for one checkbox, and you and you start your app, like you act, you activate your app, you won't be able to check, you won't be able to see any numeric value or currency showing on these other services because you chose not to put any coding into these, into these checkboxes. But you only put coding into one, so you're thinking that one is good. No, it's not. You need to copy and paste all the same type of coding in all these checkboxes because you can have all these services all checked and then and then you have a total displaying the total amount displaying here at the bottom so i'm gonna click start here i'm gonna demonstrate here so you guys don't get confused here so let's just say we have every single one of them right and our total is 832 dollars and 92 cents so and if you only like i said if you only had one and code like if you only had office call coded out with the with the new, with the with the currency value, and you don't have anything else coded out and, and added. Yeah, you don't have anything else coded. Then all you're going to be showing is just the value of what the office call service is, and then everything else is completely blank. And then and then you're wondering why you know. Then <laughs> you're wondering why it's not working out. So. So that was a hard lesson for me learning because I thought it was just for one. If I did it for one checkbox, then I couldn't. Then I didn't have to do it for the next one. But I had to. I learned it the hard way. My instructor told me that I need to put it in every single checkbox for it to work. Now remember, every single checkbox has a numeric value. So what I'm gonna do here is. I was going to try and, oh yeah, I'm sorry. So, since everything has a value, so it's pretty important. Um, Bear with me. I'm just trying to find the value for each of the services that I typed down. Go back. Right. I know that. Currency. It checked. So it's a lot of if and else statements on here. If else, if else, if else, if else, if else, if else, if else. Um,
<laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm just trying to find where I had uh, where I had the value for each service. And I can't seem to find it. I don't know why this is so hard. Not empty. That's interesting. I just can't find it. I didn't want to make this a long video. Yeah, I didn't want to make this a long video. I'm just, I was, oh, here we go. I'm sorry. So this was on the form. So if you double click the form itself, right? Just click on here at the very top here. Double click it. And I had everything. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so I had everything all preset, constant, double. And each service already had the numeric value of what each service was going to cost. So this is very important in doing this in the beginning. And don't be, like I said, don't be, uh, you got to do this first before you can do the coding on the if, the if and else statements on the checkboxes. Because you, because you need to label each price for each service first. So it'd be double, right? DBL total equals zero. And then uh, and then a constant double, constant double, constant double, constant double, constant double for each service. I already had it all. And then this is my exit button, but we need to know about that. Then once you get that, he said once you get this done, then then you can jump into the first checkbox and it do the string, the string str animals equals string dot empty, then the string str pet services equals string dot empty. Like I said, you don't have to copy exactly uh, the same words that I'm doing. You can, but that's, this is what I was using. So, and then deal with animals, if, else, if, else, and then deal with the services. Then this is where you get into if else, if else, if else, if, if else, all the way down to your last service. And then your last service is, a, is an else statement. And then once you get that done, notice that it's just repeating the same thing. So basically DBL total, right? Your DBL total equals DBL total. Um, it's a lot of stuff. It's, it's, it's a lot to look at. And then don't forget the, the currency value here for every single one of them. And then once you get done with one checkbox, I'm coding all this, and then just just select all, I mean select all this and copy it and then paste it to the next checkbox on. That way you're not like I say, not that way you're not retyping the whole thing. But the first thing it first things first is get this portion out typed in, in the form. Okay, it's in the form right here. The form. So this is the form. You double click the form. Okay, not you don't double click the group box. You don't double click the label. You don't double click any of these buttons. You just double click the form here. Okay, if you double click and it, uh, if you double click your labels, your check boxes, or or your buttons, and you're typing, you're typing, you're typing. Uh, like I said, you're typing all of this, all of this here. It, in the wrong format. So very, very important not to do that. And then after that, go to your, like I said, after that, once you're done, then go to your first checkbox and then, and then type all this. So you want to type all this. Okay. All of this, all of it. Just scroll back and pause the video and watch every single line of code here. Do not, do not mistype the coding and don't miss your semicolons, don't miss your parentheses. You know, throw an error and then that's it. And then, then you have your pet clinic app. 
like I said, there's always ways to improve the app itself, but this is what we was told to do. So we're supposed to have eight services, three animals, and then a bunch of labels, which is nine labels right here. And then, yeah, I had eight check boxes, eight labels here, and then the final label, which that's nine labels, two buns, and then two group boxes. So it's crazy. And then these guys are labels too. So technically it's 12 labels to all together. So it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff to add, but once you get one code down, then you just copy and paste the same checkbox code to the next checkbox to the next checkbox. So easiest way I can say it. And like I said, don't forget, like I said, don't forget to do this first on the form. Make sure you mark the numeric value of each services. So that's it, man.